Clackwood Action assembled a team of underwater cinematographers to investigate Cermak's experimental new fish farm near Tofino. What they found surprised them and holds little promise for wild salmon. One of the biggest challenges facing wild salmon in British Columbia is open net pen salmon farms, which allow the free flow of deadly pathogens, parasites, pesticides, sewage, and antibiotics into the marine environment. British Columbians are well aware of these threats. That's why 75% of us want salmon farms removed from BC waters, as well as over 100 First Nations. This is why the federal government is developing a plan to transition away from open net pens. A report in early 2020 indicated that land-based systems are ready for development right now, while floating in water systems would require up to five years of further review. However, when asked recently if the transition means removing all salmon farms from the ocean and onto land, Fisheries Minister Joyce Murray suggested there might be technology that allows a middle ground where salmon farms still operate in the ocean. The minister is referring to semi-closed containment systems, or SCCS for short. CERMAC recently trialed one of these right here in Clackwood Sound. What our divers found beneath the SCCS was shocking, a rain of salmon sewage. The system is pumping large amounts of water into and out of the farm with no filtering of effluent, not even the fish poop. And a salmon farm containing half a million fish emits the equivalent sewage of a city of 150,000 people. After years of denial, when Clackwood Action found PRV on Surmax Farms, they finally admitted they do have this deadly Norwegian virus. And without filtration, Surmax's new system is a viral super spreader, just like any open net pen salmon farm. Can you believe that Surmax used your tax dollars to subsidize this experiment? A million tax dollars. And the experiment ended in failure. They had to shut the SCCS down due to fish welfare concerns resulting from chronic exposure to higher levels of ammonia. In other words, the farm fish were breathing their own urine. And worst of all, no one has ever grown market-sized fish in a semi-closed system. The fish are started in the SCCS and then moved to an open net pen for grow out. This means that if DFO chooses a future of semi-closed containment for the BC coast, open net pens will still be part of the mix. Greenwashing will not protect wild salmon. This is not the time for experiments. Wild salmon are on the brink of extinction. Make your views known. Let Fisheries Minister Joyce Murray know that all fish farms, no matter what kind, must be removed from BC waters by 2025.